while receiving notifications on your computer can be useful. There may be times when you're working on a project, browsing a website, playing a game, or any other instance where these notifications can be quite annoying. Windows 10 has a feature called Focus Assist, formerly known as Quiet Hours, that can help you to avoid those unwanted interruptions. I'll show you the steps needed to enable and configure Focus Assist to give you more control. Let's get started. The Focus Assist feature was released with the Windows 10 April 2018 update, so you'll want to make sure that you have the latest version of the operating system. In the lower left corner, select the Start menu, go to Settings, System, and near the bottom of the left pane, select About. Scroll down to Windows Specifications. If you have at least version 18.03 or newer, then you're good to go. Otherwise, you'll have to go back to the home screen for Settings, select Update and Security, and check for updates. If for some reason you're still not getting updated to version 18.03 or newer, you can manually install the update on the Windows 10 download page. Once you've been updated, let's head over to the Focus Assist settings. From the Settings home screen, select System, and then Focus Assist. These are the primary settings here at the top, regardless of the time of day. Off means that you'll get all your notifications from your apps and contacts. If you only want to receive notifications from those in your priority list, you would select Priority Only, and selecting Alarms Only will prevent all notifications except for alarms. If you choose either Priority or Alarms Only, your other notifications will still show up in the Action Center. To modify your priority list, you can click on this link, which says Customize Your Priority List. Here at the top, you have the choice whether to allow phone calls, text messages, and reminders from your phone. Scrolling down the page, you can enable or disable notifications from pinned contacts on your taskbar, and you can add specific apps to your priority list. Let's return back to the previous screen, scroll down, and this is where you can set automatic rules for Focus Assist. Turning on during these times will have Focus Assist automatically turn on during the times that you select. Left click during these times. Here you can select the start and end time. I'll change mine right now. For the start time, I'll go with 8 a.m. Click on the check mark. And for the end time, I'll go with 5 p.m. You can set the schedule to daily, weekends, or weekdays. You can also set the focus level for notifications to alarms only or priority only. You can tick this box if you would like to be notified when focus assist is turned on automatically. Back on the previous screen, when I'm duplicating my display, it's useful to turn on to stop notifications if you're displaying your screen to an external monitor. For example, if you're duplicating your screen for a presentation, you probably wouldn't want notifications interrupting you or being shown to the viewers. Once turned on, just choose whether to allow alarms only or priority only. If you're a gamer, you'll probably want to turn on the entry for when I'm playing a game. Here you have the same focus level choices of alarms only or priority only. Let's head back to the previous screen. Below the automatic rules, you can tick this box to have it show you a summary of what you missed while Focus Assist was turned on. Let's zoom back out to full screen. In the lower right is the Action Center. To quickly turn Focus Assist on or off outside of the automatic rules you set up, click on the Focus Assist button. This will turn it on where you can set it to Priority Only or Alarms Only. Any notifications you may have missed while Focus Assist was turned on, will show up here in the Action Center. That's about all there is to it. This feature has improved quite a bit with the most recent update. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell notification icon for additional Windows tips and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.